but <laughs> you can see. So this is a little American alligator. It's not a crocodile. Okay, here we go. Here's a couple more. In fact, one of them just flew. But they make kind of a loud hissing noise as well. And boy, look at that hooked beak. Okay, there he is. So here is an eastern mole. And so these guys will actually take things that they want to eat and they'll dip them in the water. And so male filler crabs will stand next to the burrow and they'll wave that claw. And that's how they find the female crab of their dreams, so to speak. And all these animals have come to this wetland at night to attract mates and to mate. Behind me are just, I'll bet there are 25 or 30 alligators. And what we can see is the eye shines. We collected some really cool animals earlier today in a trawl. These are butterfly rays. These things do not have a stinger on them. They're very hard to handle. Yep. This looks like a black tip shark, an adult. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful bird. Well, uh, Vesper is a uh, four-year-old female red-tailed hawk. All right, this is what I was hoping to find, a beautiful corn snake. If he finds a female, he'll mate with her. And these guys have internal fertilization, so they mate like a lot of other animals do. Boy, look at it. The tide is rapidly coming in, so we gotta do this quick. Just in the nick of time, the tide, water's getting very deep, but look at that. There's a skimmer. A lot of tadpoles in here. We may have, oh, those two just split up. Oh, man. Oh, man, I missed. Hit the water. I have a tendency to swing a little, a little. Got him. Now look at, this is a predator. This is a dragonfly, a green darner. And green darners are one of our biggest dragonflies. Tidal pools like this are a great place to find animals, but you gotta really slow down and take the time to look for them. In fact, you kinda gotta track them. And if we look right here, you'll see a squeakly line that goes along through the mud here and stops right here. And here he is, it's a, it's a baby horseshoe crab. And this one was probably hatched out last year. Since much of the low country is covered by water at least part of the time, we're bound to have a nice assortment of fish species. These mummy chogs or mud minnows are a good example. Great name, it's called a fat sleeper. And so this is a really neat little fish. And I can tell by this turquoise spot right here. And again, they can live in brackish, salt, or fresh water. Oh, what a neat fish. You know, in terms of form and function, you can look at this fish and tell that it lives on the bottom, can't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. In fact, both eyes are on one side. This is very likely a southern flounder. But the coolest thing about this fish is look at the spot. Chris, have you ever seen one with spots like this? I've never seen, Tony, a bull red with this many spots on it. So, uh, <laughs> this is just a really, really pretty fish. And man, we are just getting attacked by mosquitoes. Ouch. Boy, they pinch hard. <laughs> and you can see this guy's, he really pinches hard. I don't know if he's gonna. <laughs> you can see how agile they are. These little guys are really, really good. <laughs> okay, I caught him. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him kind of pulsing, and uh, Alan, this guy's got a pretty good grip on me. Looks like he's maybe a little bit, a little bit feisty. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how hard even little crabs can bite. He's just got a little tiny piece, so you can eat pickleweed, but not that edible. <laughs>